Hi, we've got a very special guest today here on 30 Minutes with the Town Crier. Uh, first, my co-host Al Holman can't be here, but I'm very excited to have as a, a guest the Santa Claus from the North Pole. Welcome, Santa. Well, thank you for having me. It is such a special, special day that I can be down here in Milford oh. to meet with you. And I just want to tell people a few things. You do admit that you have helpers out and about at this time of the year. I do have a lot of people okay. who are out there watching. But I, I want to just show people that uh, I know this is the real Santa because I have his international sleigh driver's license and his credit his his North Pole Bank credit card. So you are the real Santa Claus. I do not speed with my sleigh either. I have to say that okay. I travel quite quickly, but I don't speed. Okay. Well, I think the first question I ask is why do you have helpers out and about? Well, there are millions and millions of kids around the world, and my elves all make toys, and we have to check to make sure that we have so many nice kids, and there are many, many nice children right. all around the world, and we just need to check and make sure that kids are nice, and then we need elves that make the toys as well. But we have an awful lot of Santa's helpers who are out there checking to make sure that everyone's being good. Okay. Do you train them? I train them. I make sure that they... Uh, go out and they make sure that kids are good. They watch, they check the lists, they check with moms, they check with dads. Uh, they, the kids are being watched, trust me on that. Okay, so if I'm a parent and I'm taking my uh, children to a, a mall and there's a Santa there, you've trained them? Uh, th they have talked to me, yes. Okay. Yes. And, and they're doing the naughty and nice list or helping you with it? The lists, the lists are very, very special. Um, I look at those very, very carefully. Can I show you my list? Sure, you have one. I have a list right here. This is my, this is my very special Santa list. I carry this with me everywhere I go. And on, on my list, I have names. And if you look very carefully, you'll see to the, to the uh, right of the names, you'll see <laughs> The check marks. I, I do, but I can't seem to read what the names are in. Is that is that an elfish? This is in elf lang this is in elf language. That's correct. Matter of fact, if I go back far enough. Are you gonna find me in there from years ago? I'm looking right now. This says you got a G.I. Joe doll. You know, as a matter of fact, I did. Do you still have it? No, I wish I did. It would be I worth quite that. a bit of money. Yes, it would. It would be. I gave it to uh, a, a younger cousin when he was born, so hopefully he has it. Well, I'm going to check the list. Maybe if you're good this year, you'll get another one. Okay. All right. But I do have, have the lists, and you'll note, if you can see on, on the list, that uh, we check it twice. I do see. Uh, what's the one with two X's? That is uh, a child that, unfortunately, we've checked twice. Um, and there's two red X's. Wow. Um, I did contact the parents and I said, give them one more chance. So some children do deserve a third chance. Now, do you still give a lump of coal out if they're bad or do you talk to the parents? I talk to the parents first. We do do coal, but right. usually not a lot of coal. Okay. We, we like to give presents, not coal. Now, you've, br you've brought some other, th uh, uh, other things here. Now, you have a badge? I have a badge, yes. This looks um, like a police badge, but it, it actually says North Pole Notary and Ice Inspector Santa. And I'm just, this is, this is your real official oh, Santa that's my, Notary and that, Ice badge. That is my badge. I, ca I carry it in my pocket all the time. Um, I'm an inspector. Um, I'm the chief, the chief inspector at the North Pole. Everyone kind of answers to me when I walk around and I just check to make sure that all the elves are working. Um, I make sure that the bakers are baking. I make sure that the toy makers are making toys. It's a, it's a okay. pretty busy place. Now, how many elves are there? 868. There are 868 elves who are working all the time. Uh, and they are, they are quite busy. No more, no less. No more, no less. Wow. Yeah, and they're, they're the, if you saw them working, if you visited the North Pole, you would be surprised to see them scurrying about making toys. Well, I was going to say over the years, their skills must have evolved as we've gotten into electronic gadgets and things like that. It's very, very difficult when children ask for iPhones and iPads. And I mean, we, we, we manage to make it work. Don't ask me how. Well, I assume it's magic. It's, it is magic. Now, I've got a couple of questions that... Sure. that uh, 
kids I know have asked when I told them I was uh, interviewing the mm -hmm. Santa Claus. First is, how do you get into everybody's house? Well, the, the main way we get into houses, as everyone knows, down the chimney. Right. That's number one, and if that's they, magic as well. But what if they don't have a chimney? If they don't have a chimney, I am asked that so many times. Can I just show you? Sure. This is, does that look like me on there? Yeah, it does. This is a magic key. This key, it only works on Christmas Eve. This key is a magic key, and I ring this bell. I put the key. It opens any door in the world. It changes to fit the lock? It changes to fit the lock into any door in any house in the world. Wow. And okay. then, but, uh, but after Christmas, it won't work. Okay, now, the other question one of the doubting kids asked me, and I think you're going, you can show me with this clock, is how do you manage to hit every house in one night? That is a very good question. And so you, you showed me this before the show, but I'd like you to uh, explain this to folks. This is very, very special, and you have to be very careful. Would you like to hold it for a second? Don't touch the buttons, though. Please do not touch the buttons. Okay, I see it has your initials on the back. Yes, it, it does. C. And it has, uh, it says stop and start, midnight Christmas Eve time tinker. This is my time tinker. And what does that do? I'll I'm show afraid you. to touch the buttons. I, well, if you touch the buttons, we are all in trouble. Okay. At exactly midnight on Christmas Eve, yep. I take and I turn this dial and I turn it right over to the red, just like that. Right. Okay. And then I it hit this stop. red button. And I, um, I won't hit the button because when I hit that red button, all time stops. Wow. We all fall asleep. You all fall asleep, I right. should say. I don't. The elves don't. But everyone else in the world and the falls reindeer asleep. Don't. The reindeer as well. That gives me all the time I need to go into every house in the world as long as that is on red. Okay, and when you're done? When I am done. This is a big world. Can I show the globe? Sure. I start over here. There's an island oh, right over here. It's called Christmas Island. A and fitting we, place to start. And, yes, and we work around the world. We go around, and you can imagine the millions and millions of homes that I get into. And when we get back over near Christmas Island, when it's time to get back up to the North Pole, I take my dial and I turn it over to green and I hit the green button and everyone comes awake again and it is wow. Christmas morning. Wow. It's amazing. It's called my time, my time tinker. Wow. See, that I never would have guessed. Yes, yes. But that answers the question. Everyone always, everyone's always wondered how, ooh, I have to be very careful with those buttons. Yes, you do. And you carry that in the, in the, uh, the sleigh with you? <coughs> that comes in the sleigh with me, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't let anyone touch. I'm, I, I let you handle it, but you promise not to okay. touch the buttons. Now, speaking of the sleigh, do you have a favorite reindeer? Oh, I have so many. There are deep. I love to sing the reindeer song, but there are so many of them, and they all have special. Did you know? Did you know that Rudolph's dad? Do you know Rudolph's dad? No. R Rudolph's dad is Donner. Most people didn't know that. I, I do know that that Donner it means thunder. Yes, it does. In German, Donner yes. and Blitzen is thunder and lightning. That's correct. That's absolutely but those correct. Are only, uh, uh, those are the only names other than Cupid and Rudolph yes. I really remember yes. all the time. Yeah, I brought my book of my, my reindeer. I love to show the children what they look like up in the North Pole. And everyone's, everyone, there are so many nice reindeer, but everyone seems to remember. Rudolph. Best of all, Rudolph. So I'll show everyone Rudolph's picture first. I don't really have a favorite. Everyone has, every one of the reindeers has special characteristics, but oh, there's Rudolph. And that's his dad right next to him. Wow. That's Donna right next to him. Wow. But what I like about 
is one picture that I love to show. It's Blitzen. Blitzen just loves to smile for the camera. <laughs> he, I said, smile for the camera, and he did smile for the camera. That's funny. <laughs> it is funny. He's silly. But I like to take, when I, when I go out and meet the children, I like to take the book out so that they can see all the reindeer. And that's, that's us flying out on Christmas Eve oh. from the North Pole. That's great. Now, do you ever run into any trouble with the air traffic control people or the? Uh... Well, the, with the new uh, with the new um, air control system, we really don't have any trouble because they kind of clear the air around us. They fabricate. Well, I know, on, I know that, that that NORAD, the the U.S. NORAD, missile defense right. system, actually broadcasts your flight path. They on do. Christmas Eve. They do. So I guess they're telling all the planes to stay out of your to way. To stay out of the way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and they do track us, and it's uh, it's it's n and you can see exactly how many houses we go go into at the time. Wow. Yeah, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like in replay because of the time tinker. <laughs> that that that's that that's that's true. Mm. So let me ask you something: If I wanted to be one of your helpers, what would be the things that you teach me? Well, how would you like to be a helper? What would you like to do? Are you good at toy making? Not really. No, you'd like to be a Santa helper? Yes. Okay. Well, let's see. I, I have to grow the beard you out a little bit You have to grow the more. beard it, out. It is gray and white. It is gray and white. That would be good. Okay. You would have to, you would have to, okay, yeah, the beard would be good. The mustache would be good. Should gain a little weight, too. A little bit of weight. Okay. All right. Let's, let's hear your best ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. A little more from the belly. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Try a little, a little bit louder. Ho ho ho! That's very good. Okay, all right. You have to, you have to love cookies. I do. Okay, you love cookies. You'll grow out the beard. You'll practice on the ho ho ho. Right. All right. Do you look good in red? I think so. Okay. Today I'm all in black, but I look good in red. Would you like to? Would you like to fly with me this this year as an apprentice? Can I really? Well. If, if there aren't too many toys in the sleigh, I might yeah. be able to make room for you. Now, what would you do? Pick me up at, at my house? Or do I have to go to the North Pole? I would probably pick you up. Yeah. Should I wait on the roof? No. I'll, I'll, I'll come in with the key. Okay. I'll come in with the key. Hang on a second, Santa. I'm just going to... Oh, we, we knocked your mic off being enthusiastic. That's okay. You're not used to these. No, I, 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 I have kind of a loud voice. You do. <laughs> You do. So I need to develop a really deep right voice from, from, the, from the gut. From the gut, right. Okay. Right. And wear red and white. And Right. Do you like snow? I do. Because it gets very cold. Are you not afraid of cold? Not at all. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of fun at the North Pole, too. And Mrs. Claus, she loves to cook. She loves to cook. Do you like to eat? Not only just cookies. I do. What is Santa Claus's favorite meal? I know you like cookies and milk. I, but what's that, your favorite meal that Mrs. Claus cooks? Probably my favorite would be a vegetable stew. I like okay. stew. It's very hearty. I like a nice hot stew on a vegetable, cold night. Vegetable, though. Vegetable stew. Okay. Is yep. that to give you and all the bread. vitamins? And With bread. The vitamins and minerals yes. you need to make that long yes, night? Yes, yeah. It is a very long, long, long day. Even though time is shut down for me, it's a very long, long time that I'm out. Wow. Mm. And I'm tired when I get home. Now, what do you do? Do you have an off-season? Do you relax on December 26th? Do you go on vacation? Do I do go on off? vacation, but you wouldn't recognize me. Um, I do. I kind of take off some of the high beard. Um, I, I take some of it off down a little bit. I don't remove it. I don't go to the beach or anything like that. My home is the North Pole. I stay up there. Um, I just, I like to relax. My home is the North Pole. I just love to sit by the fire and look out over the snow, so look out, out over the reindeer pens. When do you gear up again? Do you, do you like start right away in January or we're do busy. you take some time off? We're busy all year, but it, it's a little bit slower. Right. We really don't start gearing up again until usually when the kids go back to school, the first part of September. Right, and you start sending your helpers out somewhere around November, December. Correct. In, in advance. That is correct. Of, yep. of the holiday. Yes. Yep. Okay. And and they're out there and they're they're walking around and they and they see, they see and the, you you'll see them in malls. 
Right. And of course, you go by different names in different countries. In France, I know you're Père Noël. That's correct. I think in Holland, you're Sinterklaas. That's correct. Uh, what other names do you have that, that you, you've heard people call you? Uh, Saint Nick, right. uh, Santa Noël. Um, my favorite uh, is Saint Nick. I, I, that's always been my favorite. But everyone, probably most people refer to me as, as Santa. Okay. And can I ask Santa, is it wrong to ask how old you are? Well, or is that a bad thing to ask? Uh, let's let's just say I'm bordering a hundred. Okay. I know I look young, but I, I'm I'm right up there. Well, I bet after that long night, you feel like you're hundred. <laughs> I do feel I feel much more than a hundred. Okay. So let me let's take a look. What do you want people to know about you and about Christmas? I think Christmas is a time when most people. I think it's a time when people can really come out and show their best side. It's a time when we give gifts. Um, it's a time when people act from their hearts. I think people um, share the, the best side of them, of themselves, uh, with families, with friends. It's a time when people become so close. Um, it's just so nice that people are so loving and so kind, and I, I, just, I just love to see that. Uh, the song says it's the most wonderful time of the year. I mm -hmm. truly believe that, and I think we see that around the world when people uh, give gifts to those who are less fortunate, um, when people provide food for homeless. Um, it's just, I think it's a, a great time for, for people to, to show their best sides. Okay, and, and what message do you have to the uh the younger kids? To the younger kids, well, number one, I'd like them to, to, to know that, uh, first of all, Santa loves them very much, and that, um, that they, they too, it's, it's never too young to go out and do nice things for, for people, whether it's children who are their age or, or even people who are older in their neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe those who are who are elderly. If it snows, go out and shovel their sidewalk. Uh, bring out their, bring in their newspaper. Help th help them carry in groceries. Um, what, what about to the ones? This, a lot of kids today, you know, we're in a video game world and a social media world. Some of them stop believing. Okay. Now I've never stopped believing in Santa mm -hmm. Claus. Okay, but what do you say to the kids today? who they, they don't think they should believe anymore. I believe that you should carry Santa Claus in your heart in the spirit of Christmas 365 days a year for, for the amount of time that you are alive. I think that is something that you should never, ever let go of, no matter how old you are. See, I agree. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, a wonderful spirit to have all year long. And people... Mm -hmm. Even, even when people start seeing Christmas commercials at, in October um, and people start listening to Christmas music, even if it's before Thanksgiving, I don't see anything wrong with that. I think okay. it's something that, it, it is a seasonal thing, but I think that it's something that we should, in fact, practice all year long. The whole spirit of Christmas is something that we should have 365. That's great. Now, you just said something that, that gives me another question, which is, do you have a favorite Christmas song? Oh. Other than it's the most wonderful time of the I year. I have so many Christmas songs that I love so much. Actually, if I had to choose my favor favorite all-time Christmas song, mm -hmm. it would be, a, 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 I think it's well-known in Germany. It's probably less known in this country. It's called Still, Still, Still. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. It's very, it's, it's as peaceful as the song Silent Night. I was going to say, does it still mean silent yes. in, in German? Yes, yes, yes. Because yeah. I know still in Nacht is Silent Night in yes. German. Yes, yes. Listen to the song. Uh, download it on one of those electronic gadgets that you have if you have that. The song is still, still, still. It talks about snow falling on Christmas Eve and dreaming of the day to come. It's a beautiful, beautiful I, song. I will, I will do that, mm -hmm. Santa. Mm -hmm. 
So of all the ones you've heard around the world, you like that one. Uh, that is that is my favorite. There's one. There's another song that I that I also like. It's by James Taylor, um, who comes this night, um, this wintry night to the to the lowly to the lowly manger. That's a beautiful song I like as well. Well, it's nice you're saying that in, in his adopted state of Massachusetts. I know, I know, I know, and I listen to that as I fly. I do listen to to. Christmas music all Christmas Eve as I fly. Now, what do you have? Do you have an iPod that you listen to? I do have an iPod, believe it or not, and I, it's loaded with Christmas songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, somehow I don't think you have heavy metal on there. No, right? I don't have heavy metal. It's all Christmas music. I listen to Christmas music all year long. Wow. Any favorite artists? You mentioned James Taylor. James you mentioned Taylor. Still, still, still. Um, I also like, let's see if I can remember her name, Celine, Celine. Dion? Dion, that's it. Sings a beautiful O Holy Night. That's a beautiful song as well. Okay. O Holy Night it, it has so many different versions. I love that song as well. That is great. Do you well, have a favorite song? Um, I actually like the song that Joni Mitchell wrote that starts off saying it's coming on Christmas. Oh, yes. And uh, has the, the chorus, I guess I'll skate away. Mm -hmm. I actually like that one because it evokes the time of year. Not the mm -hmm. holiday, but more um, remembering when I used to go ice skating as a kid um, and the feeling you got in anticipation that you know adults don't always have. Mm -hmm. That as children you do, you know it's coming up, you start getting excited. And where I grew up in New Jersey, there was a, a big pond in, in a town park, and we used to go ice skating on it in the winter. And uh, that song, to me, it makes me remember that time when I was five or six and would all go skating on the pond. Um, you know, the weather was getting mm -hmm. colder and would look forward to you coming. And when I hear her sing that song, it's coming on Christmas. I think that's how it begins. Mm -hmm. And it talks about skating away. I just remember being a little kid and... Uh, and I'm sure, as you you remember, the one night I stayed up all night long and tried to uh, to see you, but fell asleep in my little spy box, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 just didn't get to see you. But that that spirit you have as a kid, I think, you know, Christmas is good for all ages, but I think um, children love it so much more than adults do. But you said something that's very interesting too, and I think that it's it's very very important for adults as well as as children to think back to a time when you were a child or a younger child and remember the Christmases past and how important they were to you and the family that that you were with mostly it's family most mm -hmm. of the most of the family I remember my grandparents my own parents they're all gone now mm -hmm. and when I remember my childhood it was you know all the grandparents my parents my sisters relatives all getting together and just celebrating being a family exactly. and things like that. And now that I'm uh, in the older generation in my family, um, I try to make sure that on Christmas, uh, I don't have grandchildren yet, but I have, I have grand nephews and nieces, and I try to make sure I touch base with them and see them uh, so they see family around on the holidays. And cherish those moments. I do because you must know, Santa, as you get older and you lose people in your family, all you have is the memory. Correct. And, uh, you know, I, I tell people, uh, you know, my dad may have left the earth four years ago, but there's not a day goes by he's not in my thoughts. Right. Or, or, or I'm remembering something he said right. to me or my uncle or my grandparents. Uh, and, and actually even listening to you, that you, you have those memories forever. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and they cherish. But I think that's part of what being a Christmas is, is all those family gatherings. And depending on your culture, you have, you know, um, uh, Milford, where we are right now, is, uh, is a, you know, has a lot of Italian immigrants, and they mm -hmm. have the Feast of Seven Fishes before. Yes. And some of the other um, uh, uh, Mediterranean countries have that. And other people have different customs. Mm -hmm. Some people serve ham, some serve turkey, mm -hmm. some do this. And yes. you just get in the spirit of remembering that and, yes. and celebrating the customs mm -hmm. as you grow older. Yes. And uh, I think that's what I always associate you with, is just you know good memories of, of times. Well, I appreciate that. And it, it's, it's nice to know that while, while I'm back at the North Pole, when, when I return home on that night, 
I'll sit in a chair. It's a little larger than this. It's leather. And I'll sit back and I'll put my feet up on a, on a hassock, take my hat off. Mrs. C will probably serve me a, probably a turkey dinner. And it'll just give me a, a very warm, nice, nice feeling to know that people around the world are celebrating with their families. And I w it it'll just warm my heart to know that I have brought joy to so many people around the world. Okay. And hopefully it's, a, it's memories that will, that will last for lifetimes to come. Definitely. So if we've got little kids watching, what do you want them to know? Uh, it's about a month before Christmas. What do you want these kids to know in preparation for you hopefully coming to their house? I know that little children get very, very excited the closer we get to Christmas. Right. And sometimes they get very, very excited, and sometimes they get a little bit... Over the line. Over the line. Just remember, Santa is watching, and just know that I'm watching, and know that I want you to be good. I want you to be helpful around the home. I want you not to be naughty, because they're, they're, the lists are out there, and you are being watched, and I just want you to... Uh, be good around the house, be helpful around the house, do well in school, and uh, just really get ready for Christmas in a good and a positive way. Okay. And I've got one last question. I know lots of people like to leave a snack out for the reindeer. What's the best thing you should leave out for a reindeer? I've heard people leave straw. Some people leave carrots. Uh, obviously, the cookies are for you, but what is the best thing to give the reindeer the, the, it, from your mind? They actually like oats. Okay. They do like the carrots. They do like celery as well. Okay. Um, but they, they are so busy on that night, they will eat just about anything. But the carrots and the, and the celery and, uh, and oats are, are excellent choices. Okay. And, and do you have any preferred kind of cookie or do you take anything? As long as it's round <laughs> and it's cooked, I love any kind of cookie. I love oatmeal, chocolate chip, sugar cookies. I, well, it gives you that energy going it around It certainly the does. It. Let, let me just say this. The, there isn't a cookie that I've eaten that I haven't liked. Okay. I just love cookies. You prefer them round. Yeah, I like the round ones. You don't like little stars or trees? Well, the star, oh, the figural ones are, are nice, too. Yes. Even if it's a view? The Santa, Santa cookies, it's kind of hard to take a bite of a Santa cookie knowing that I'm <laughs> taking a bite of, of myself. But I, but I do eat them. I do love them. <laughs> okay. Any special flavor you like? No, not really. I, I, Anything? I like, I like oatmeal raisin. I like okay. chocolate chip. But like I said, there, there isn't any cookie that I haven't had that I haven't enjoyed. Well, Santa, believe it or not, our, our time is coming to oh, an end. Oh, this has been so much fun. I can't wait to get into all, all, of, your, all of the houses okay. ar around the world. I know you've got a really busy schedule, and I really appreciate you taking the time out to come here. Well, I'm glad you asked me. And um, any, any last messages to the world other than just enjoy the holiday? or Love one another. Do good for the world. Do good for mankind. And hold Christmas in your heart all year long. Great words, Santa. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you.